Joe Biden has had a surprisingly tragic life. Just a few years ago, he lost his oldest son, Beau, to cancer, while his younger son, Hunter, has spent years struggling to free himself from dependence on drugs and alcohol. Perhaps the greatest sorrow in Joe Biden's life, however, occurred early on in his senatorial career when he received the kind of phone call every spouse and parent dreads. But the call said, my wife was dead, my daughter was dead, and I wasn't sure how my sons were going to make it. As Biden told Marie Claire on December 18, 1972, my wife and three children were Christmas shopping. A tractor trailer broadsided them and killed my wife and killed my daughter. Suddenly, the young senator-elect from Delaware found himself a single dad with his two surviving kids in the hospital with serious injuries, and he was actually sworn into office at their bedsides. Hunter, in presenting Bo's eulogy in 2015, noted that being in the hospital was his very first memory. He said, I was almost three years old. I remember my brother, who was one year and one day older than me, holding my hand, staring into my eyes, saying, I love you, I love you, I love you, over and over and over again. Once the kids were out of the hospital, Biden resumed his political career, but rode the train back to their home in Wilmington every night from his DC office, a habit that earned him the nickname Amtrak Joe. The first Mrs. Biden, Nellia Hunter, was born in 1942 in Scaniatlas, New York. She later studied at Syracuse University and during her junior year took a spring break trip to Nassau, where she met a University of Delaware junior named Joe. Evidently, they hit it off, since a few years later, Joe decided to attend law school at Syracuse, and the two married in August of 1966. After the couple wed, they moved to Wilmington, Delaware, where new lawyer Joe got his first start in politics by serving on the Newcastle County Council. Soon Joe would take things a step further, challenging Delaware's Republican incumbent Senator J. Caleb Boggs for his seat. Nellia was said to be the brains behind the campaign, somehow managing to engineer his come-from-behind win while simultaneously mothering three small children. In her autobiography, Where the Light Enters, Joe's current wife, Jill Biden, describes how she had the pleasure of meeting Nellia just a month before her untimely demise. She wrote about her easy, natural beauty and her warm smile. She also wrote about how unfair the situation was. To take a mother from her children, to take a daughter from her father, Joe Biden had had everything, and in a horrible second, it was gone. According to The Independent, shortly after Biden's victory in the November 1972 election, Nellia asked her husband, What's going to happen, Joey? Things are too good. Sadly, she was right. Just one week before Christmas came the car crash, as a tractor trailer carrying corn slammed into the side of the Biden family's Chevy station wagon. In that terrible moment, as Biden later described, my whole world was altered forever. He soldiered through, however, not only holding up through a memorial service that drew a crowd of 1,200, but staying strong to help his injured sons. As Biden wrote in 2017's Promise Me Dad, the pain had seemed unbearable in the beginning and it took me a long time to heal, but I did survive the punishing ordeal. I made it through with a lot of support and reconstructed my life and my family. Biden has mentioned this profoundly sad event in many speeches he's given over the years, including a 2012 address to US military service members and how hard it can be to move on after such an unspeakable tragedy. He said, Keep thinking what your husband or wife would want you to do. Keep thinking what it is and keep remembering those kids of yours or him or her the rest of their life. Blood of my blood, bone of my bone. Because folks, it can and will get better.